as promised, uh, I said I was going to start a new build, even though I've got a couple on the go, and that is the Mini Playboy. Uh, this is a German design, and thanks to a fellow uh, club member, he was able to get a translation of the instructions and the plans, although you could work it out from the plans alone, and these are available on Outer Zone. And I propose starting uh, building the wings. They're often, I think, the most fun part of the build. Something I have to do is to produce uh, the strip wood because the price of balsa is such that it's extortionate if you buy the, the balsa already in strips. And the other advantage, of course, is if I'm cutting my own, I can make sure that it's all the same quality. And that's what I propose to show you how I'm going to do that today. This little tool is the way that I'm going to do it. This one's a balsa stripper by Master Air Screw. A very simple idea to plastic block with a threaded bar through the centre. And you've got a screw knob to adjust the thickness of the wood that you want to strip. And the blade is simply put in um, so that it's level with the bottom of the tool. So I'm going to demonstrate how, how you actually use it now. The first issue is that the plans themselves are all in metric and the balsa wood that's available and the balsa wood that I've got has all been cut using imperial measurements so they're not exact. So for example it calls for two by two stringers here. The nearest I have is three mil balsa sheet but the difference is negligible. So I propose cutting some square stringers from this wood. Now I've picked out some much longer grained balsa that's a little bit tougher uh, for the stringers and I'll get all of the stringers required for this model for the wings out of this one sheet and that consistency in the quality and the weight of the balsa will make for a wing that's much less likely to warp or twist. So what I've done is I've drilled out and screwed down uh, a metal flat bar which I know is straight and I've screwed it to the building board and the reason for that is quite simple. When I'm cutting the strip itself I don't want this to move so it's handy to have a nice straight edge that you can push a little bit weight onto. You can push, you, put, you can actually force the balsa sheet up against this to keep it nice and level. Just move this out of the way. Now, if I want square section, the easiest way to do that, I've already done it actually on this, is to put the stripper thus and adjust the screw until it's just knitting the balsa. Now I know that it's going to be the same dimensions both ways. So push it up against there. Now a clue to a, well, a technique that you should always employ when cutting wood is not to try and cut it through all in one go. So what, I, what I'm going to do is I'll score lightly in the first cut and then apply a little bit more pressure in the second cut. Here goes. So as I'm cutting it here, I'm keeping it forced and pressed up against the balsa sheet and because I've got that steel bar, flat bar in place, it means the balsa is not going to move around as I'm doing so. It's an exo blade. I suspect if you try to use a surgical more swan scalpel blade, the blade might flex. So I think in this occasion you probably do need an exo blade. I never normally use them, I must admit. So a second cut, this one should cut through. Here we go. I'm going to produce a nice strip 
and there we go square section also strip all ready to lay onto that wing i haven't cut any of the notches out on the ribs yet so of course it doesn't matter that this is slightly different size to the ones on the plan there's a the second one that i cut earlier just checking it all out before i videoed it so that's how i propose to make my own strip a few pounds was less than a 10 i think it was about eight pound this on uh, one of the internet site, sites uh, a good tool to have i have a homemade one about 40 years ago that i made myself you couldn't buy things like that then um a fine pitch lead screw you could make one of these yourself if you're a little bit handy but for the cost of it i think it's a tool that's extremely useful if you plan doing any sort of scratch building at all um, and you don't want to be ripped off buying strips of balsa till the next time when i start actually building the wing get flying if you can't get flying please get building it's amazingly rewarding thanks for watching thumbs up if you don't mind subscribe if you haven't done so that way you'll see the progress on the building of the mini playboy thank you very much